the summer, we were the tide, the clearest of azure, bright as your eyes, golden skin sundress, you were the skies, and I see the color I've known all my life. We had time less. Diana. Who would have thought seven years ago today when we first met that we'd be standing here today ready to get married? It's crazy to think that there was a time where I was nervous to ask you out on a date, hold your hand, say I love you, or ask you if you like pineapples on your pizza. I've fallen in love with you in so many ways since then, from your sweet and thoughtful personality to your, adventurous, your fun and adventurous side. Your qualities bring out the best version of myself. Looking back, I can truly say that meeting you is the greatest moment of my life. We've been through so much together and I can't wait to continue building a future with you. I'm excited to start calling you my wife and grow old with you while we travel the world and eat all the pizza we can. I love you and I promise to always be there for you no matter what, protect you, make you laugh and smile and love you unconditionally the way you deserve to be loved. I have been called indecisive at times, or many times, but I know that marrying you is the easiest decision of my life. Today, I promise to be your number one supporter, to always be there for you, through good times and bad times. I vow to keep your floors clean to the best of my abilities, and promise to comfort you in times of sorrow like when Mason Crosby misses four field goals in a row. But most importantly, I vow to love you tomorrow as much as I love you today. I'm excited to go through life and grow old with you. Diana, over the past seven years, you've been like a sister to me, and at this point in the speech, I think it's customary to say welcome to the family, but for all I'm concerned, you're already part of the family. You've been part of that family since you met them that first day. As for Ben, the very first time I met him, I knew right away how much he liked Diana when he opted to sleep on the floor of our hotel room in Niagara instead of in a bed just so he could be near her. And I knew one day they would get married when a few years later he agreed to be the pizza boy to her slice of pizza costume on Halloween. Like I said, it's her favorite holiday, so that's important. I can't imagine a better pairing than the two of you. And now here we are seven years later and they have a house and a dog and getting married. Again, I'll say it, I do.